So Double Masters is coming in at $220 on TCG Player right now. I'm gonna crack this box and see if it's even worth it, y'all. I know there's all kinds of staples for all different kinds of formats in this box, but $220 is kind of steep. There's so many products that are $220. Is this even worth the money? Can you get the bang for your buck in these packs? We're gonna get right into it and see what happens. Okay. Cryptic Spires, Sultai Suit Slayer, God's Willing, Supreme Verdict, Legion's Initiative, Stagger Shock, Glory Scale Vashino, Blood Artist, good card, Chronicle of Hopes, Is It Charm, Deranged Assistant, Liliana's Elite, Doom Traveler, Cartel Aristocrat, Monastery Swift Spear, and a Deadly Recluse. Bust on the first pack. Cryptic Spires. There's, I think there's one of those in every single pack because it's a draft. It's, it wants you to use them. Dredged Mangler. Hero. Leonin Arbiter. Players can't, players can't search their libraries unless they pay two for that player to ignore the fact only in a turn. That's pretty decent. Mathas, Fiend Seeker. Breakthrough. Sultai, Soothslayer, Senate Growth Chamber. Wingsteed Rider, Spell Pierce. Supernatural Stamina, God's Willing. And the Ingenious Scab, Titan Strength, Tuscan Captain, 10th District Legionnaire. So I'm pretty sure all the rares are in those first four slots. Most of the time it's in that third and fourth slot. Cryptic Spires, Simic Growth Chamber. Capture Sphere, Damnation, good card. Missouri, Claw of Progress. Cold Steel Heart. Arachnosphere, Domestication, Tra Traveler's Amulet, Disfigure, Mana Leak, Bull Bullistrade Tra Spy, Hyena Umbra, Living Lightning, Rampant Growth, Solid, Augur Spree, I really liked opening this set, I got a lot of stuff when I did before I was making videos throughout this set, Hyena Umbra, Dauntless Escort. Sacrificing creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Super solid card. Impervious Great Worm. That is, I think, the strongest card in Magic right now, which I personally love. I don't have one, so it's God, God to pull it. Devoted Druid. Another super solid card. If your opponent plays Warren Clicks, you can get infinite green mana just with this card. Blazing Howlhound. Orzhov Basilica. Winged Coat. Advanced Stitch Wing. Shadowborn Apostle. Solid. Enic Bonkin, Makeshift Mauler, Stormfleet Pyromancer, Annoyed Altasaur, and Call of the Beast. I guess we're waiting on just a couple hitters through this. Cat Dragon Token, love it. Greyblade Marauder, Firefall, Dockside Extortionist, what? That's a hitter. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm talking about, good job. That helps us make up for this box value so far. Into the Dreamer. Wealthless Troll, Troll, Eternal Witness, Bloodwater Entity, Brindle Shoat, Vampire Sovereign, Momentary Blink, Eel Umbra, Pirate's Pillage, Experiment One, and Deep Analysis. Dang, we're not even a third of the way through the box. That Dockside Extortion has kind of saved us. Deadly Recluse, Shadowboard Apostle Foil, nice. Skull Reaver. Rurik Thar, one of my favorite rule commanders. He's one of the first commanders I built, like at least first 10. He is awesome. People hate him so much because they like casting their non-creature spells. Six damage doesn't feel like that much the first time, but the fourth time, it really adds up. Goblin Banneret. Scab Clan Giant. Mentor of the Meek. Solid card. Agony Warp. Carrier Thrall. Relief Captain. Forbidden Alchemy. Prune Striker, Thrive, Fireblade Artist, Perforosis Emissary. Travel pe Preparations, Militia Burglar, Bugler, Bugler, Thousand Year Storm, Super Solid Card, Revel Arc, Rancor, Selesnia Sanctuary, Nice Art, Go for the Throat, Last Breath, Dredge Mangler, 
Unearth. Sensor Splicer, Jeskai Elder, Arachnus Web, Cartel Aristocrat, Titan's Strength. I'm not even sure what cards are worth over $10 in this bag. Titan Strength, Ingenious Scam, Koblenz Command. Looks nice. Lava Lanch. Deals X damage to target player or planeswalker and each creature that player or planeswalker's controller controls. Scale Blessing, Sprouting Phrenax, Demir Aqueduct, Spark Mage's Gambit, Liliana's Elite, Seeker of the Way, Deranged Assistant, Seeker Squire. Hey, I got a Squire. Might of Old Cruza. Loyave Sky Knight. Fiery Fall. Borderless foil, force of negation. Whoa, son. That's a pull. That's a pull. Ooh, that's nice. And then Cryptic Spires. We're gonna set that right there. That's so nice. Ooh. Phyrexian Altar. Oh my gosh. This box, this box is nice. Got that borderless Phyrexian Altar. Duran, Siege Tower. It's a real memoir. Unburial Rites. Wall of Omens. Blood Water Entity. Spark Mage's Gambit, Seeker Squire, Knightly Valor, Spell Pierce, Deadly Recluse, Coiling Oracle, Hissing Iguanar. We're doing really good with this box, y'all. This is decent. Annoyed Altasaur, Disfigure, Fire Song and Sunspeaker, Shatter Gang Brothers, Orzhov Pontiff, Cedra Cedraxis Spectre, Misfire Adept, Dredge Mangler, Skeleton Archer, Anak, Aether Snipe, Experiment One, Rift Bolt, Elvish Rejuvenator, and the Aristocrat. <laughs> Sprouting Thrinax, Perforos's Emissary, Micaeus, good pull. Solid pull for white. Varenia, Varina, Lich Queen. And then Lightning Bolt, Brindle Showed, Settle Beyond Reality, Shadowborn Apulsa, Thought Scour, The Emissary, The Altasaur, and Lava Coil. Inquisition of Kozilek, good card. Eel Umbra, Aether Vial, Dark Steel Plate, super solid card. Equipped creature has indestructible. Cost three, two to equipped, super solid. Fire Mines Vessel, River Hoopo, Azorius Chancer, Chancery, Martial Glory, Eye Blight's Ending, Anointed, Anointer of Valor, Capture Sphere, Balustrade Spy, Arachnus Web, Burning Tree Emissary, Hissing Iguanar, Iguanar. Stormfleet Pyromancer, Last Breath, Bloom Tender, super solid card. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but it's still super solid. Eshinar Leech, and then we're just gonna flicker through these real fast. Rampant Growth. We've seen most of them already, it seems like. Those commons and uncommons. Biogenic Upgrade, The Spy, Backdraft Hellkite. Whenever this guy attacks, each instant or sorcery card gained in your graveyard gains flashback until the end of turn. The flashback cost equal to its mana cost. Villainous Wealth. Inquisition of Kozilek. Nice art. Heroic Reinforcements. Vampiric Rites. Sensor Splicer. Strands of Undeath. Thrive. Other stuff we've seen already. There's a little tab on these, but I feel like it's much easier just to rip these open most of the time. Smuggler, Amberscade, Embryo, Archangel, Flying, Shroud, all damage dealt to you is dealt to this guy instead. It's decent. Cumball, Civic Saber, Mold Drifter, Last Breath, Severed Strand, Seeker of the Way, Quasali, Pride Mage. Nice art. If you guys are interested, I'm sure there's a giveaway in the description. Just click that. You can RSVP so you don't miss it, guys. 
giving away some Fallout booster packs. Just uh, RSVP right now. Don't miss it, then come back and finish the video. Miela's Area, the makeshift mauler. Grim Flare, Twin Flame, used to be so good. By the Mighty Have Fallen. The Boros Garrison, Flicker Wisp. Jeskai Elder, Skeleton Archer, Battlefield Promotion, Deep Analysis, Dark Dweller, Grapple with something. We've already seen it, already read it. Next pack. Azuri, Cloth Progress, Foily, nice. Avid, Wilt Leaf, Dragon Arch, Body Double, Anointed Valor, Thought Scour, Supernatural Stamina, Elvish Rejuvenator, Tuscan Gear Captain. We're on the last third of the box right now. We're gonna knock this out. It seems like, I think we already got our value to be honest, because those two cards were so valuable. Spell Pierce, Harrier Throw, Nicole Bolas, God Barrel. Nice. I don't know if it's good, if it's valuable, but it is a cool card and I will be using it. Yahini. Whenever a creature in opponent control dies, put a 1 1 counter on Yahini. Sacrifice another cro creature, this guy gains indestructible. It's decent. Path to Exile, Rot Farm, Martial Glory, Knightly Valor, Savage Strands, Augur Spree, Web Wind Changeling. The Giant, the Striker, Mimeoplasm, one of my favorite commanders. I have the deck built right in this drawer, right here. Love it. Phyrexium Altar, number two. Number two, that's a good card. That helps us with our value right there. Surreal Memoir, Conclave Mentor, Lightning Bolt, Militia Budget, Skeleton Archer, Quasley Prime Age, Thrive. We got five packs left. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos, it'd be awesome if you could just leave a like on it. Skeleton Archer. Aven Initiate. Our Taka's Command. Could be better. Your opponents can't gain life this turn, which is cool. This deals 3 damage to each opponent. Put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Creatures you control gain 1-1 one, one, and reach until the end of the turn. That's pretty solid, actually. Magister Sphinx. When it enters the battlefield, target player's life total becomes 10. I don't want to play this because I feel like it's so mean in Commander. Let's go. Rakdos, Is It Charm, Capture Sphere, Vampire Sovereign, Call of the Feast, Dark Dweller, Oracle, Rampant Growth, Firebrand Artist, Agony Warp, Experiment 1, Sensei, Divining Top, Borderless, Dibble. Beautiful card. Love it. Hostage Taker. Another solid card. I don't think it's too expensive, but it's still a solid card. Dream Shaper Shaman. River Hope. Skin Render. Battle Promotion. Mana Leak. God's Willing. Pirate's Pillage. Experiment 1. Augur Spree. Orzhov Basilica. Nightly Valor. Bitter Blossom. Solid card. Two mana. Beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and create a 1-1 one, one fairy rogue with flying. Beautiful. Beldum Raveler. Just Guy Charm. Washout. Prophetic Bolt. Washout's a good card. Return all permanents of the color of your choice to the owner's hand. Super solid. Glow Spore Shaman. Aether Snipe. Momentary Blink. Monastery Swift Spear. Grapple with the Past. Deep Analysis. Sign of Darkness, Deep Analysis, Hardened Scales. Good card for any 1-1 one, one counter deck that's running green. Beautiful. Hydroid Crisis. Whenever you cast a spell, you gain half X life, draw half X cards, round it down. It's kind of cool. And nothing good in this pack, other than those two. I mean, they weren't bad, they weren't great either. go. Cryptic Spires. Brindleshoat. Liev. Deathbringer Liege. And Skullbriar. I think that's all she wrote for this pack. 
And now on to the summary. In the box, we pulled 52 cards totaling $380. 17 of those cards held all the value at $309. The top cards were Dockside Extortionist at $79. Force of Negation Borderless Foil at $51. Pulled two Phyrexian Altars at $33 a piece. And a Borderless Sensei's Divining Top at $28. Those five cards by themselves were $224. If you guys are interested in some free magic cards, there's a link in the description so you can RSVP so you don't miss it. It's going to be March 16th, 1 p.m. Eastern. Overall, I think it was a pretty solid box. Thanks for watching. My name is King Luke. Subscribe for more.